Okay, so this is about Gliffy, and it was something I heard from Genevieve in uh, IDT 520. Um, you can try it free, it's 14 days free, but if you have an educational, um, if it says .edu at the end of your uh, email address, they will, uh, when you go to verify it, they'll tell you you get four years free. You're four years free? Yeah, four years free. All right, so you can do a basic diagram, but I want to do a flow chart. And there's examples that you could open up, um, like you can, but this is the part where I need you to save as Gliffy and not in Google Drive. So, you know, just a new document. Um, and you see, this is where you can do it. You can create from a template, but I found out that was kind of hard to make it my own. But see, there's all these different templates that they have that you can use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, and, and instead of basic shapes, I'm going to use flowchart. And I'm going to just, yeah, so that flowchart's open. Um, first, I'm going to save it because I lost my first one. Save it as a Gliffy document. And then I'm going to say um, example, or I guess I already have an example. Example two. All right, so I'm going to press save. And... So now you can start with whatever you want to start with, like you can do this and then you can say, okay, well then I want a box, just a basic box, and then I want another basic box, then I want um, one of the triangles. Now the green lines really help. You got to make sure that the green lines are on, the drawing guides, and then this one snap to grid um, because then you can kind of see if everything's lined up. Now let's see, I put this way down here, but I want them to really all be all around the same difference. I would click here on this edit group properties and distribute. I don't want to distribute. Do I want to distribute them to the vertical center? Yeah. Yeah. See, so it moved that one. So that's one of the nice things is it keeps everything in a nice uh, distance. But if you wanted them closer, you know, you could do this and I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to say here and then I'm going to distribute vertically, but I'm also going to distribute. Oh, that's kind of neat. That's the horizontal center, I guess. So I guess you kind of have to do your work a little bit and kind of use those little green things to uh, guide that. Um, and then the connectors. So the connectors is right here, the connector tool. So at the top, you're really just using the text tool. I don't use these. I just use the flowchart. Then uh, this. I was using this straight line tool the first time, and that's not what I need to be doing. So I could connect this. Oh, you want to start with the little green. I mean, oh, you have to keep your um, finger pressed on the mouse. And then this. And then what I learned. What did I learn? Oh, the, oh well, I guess I can make them choose them all, maybe. Oops, that's not what I want to do. So when you want to choose something, use the mouse. I can delete that. All right, so I'm going to choose everything. If I want to move everything, I would use this hand. Just move. Oh, I, that's to move the actual, but if I want to move it, you use this. Okay, so let's just say I like this and um, on, but let's see. Okay, so I'm going to click here and I'm click the line properties and the style, or the end style, I want an arrow. See, so it makes all of them an arrow. That's kind of cool. You can make them all really thick or you can make them all really thin. Uh, I, you know, it, and that's the cool thing about this. But the last cool thing about this oh, is, okay, I'm gonna click out of it. If I move it, the arrows move with it. Nice. And then this, where is it? Oh, let me press save. <laughs> Cause that's how I lost my work yesterday. And then uh, layers, oh no, not layers. This one, the themes. So there's a theme. Let's go over here. There's a theme, looks pretty. And so for this one, they'll probably put, you know, um, yeah, put it in white. All right, so uh, again, oh gosh. If I select, if I just select this, I can you do something with that. But if I select all of them, I can move the whole thing.